Dennis G. Peters, Herman T. Briscoe Professor of Chemistry at Indiana University Bloomington, passed away April 13, 2020, a few days short of his 83rd birthday. Born in Eagle Rock, California in 1937, Peters pursued a degree in chemistry, first at Caltech, receiving a Bachelor of Science in 1958. He then attended Harvard, where he obtained a doctorate in 1963. He immediately began his academic career at Indiana University, where he has served since. Peters was renowned as a chemical educator, having received all the local awards for education available on the Bloomington campus. Included are the Ulysses G. Weatherly Award for Distinguished Teaching, 1969, the Herman T. Briscoe Professorship, 1975, and the College of Arts and Sciences Graduate School Award for Distinguished Teaching, 1984, all three distinctions for teaching at the highest level. In April 1995, and again in April 2000, Professor Peters received the favorite faculty award from the Indiana University chapter of Alpha Lambda Delta. In 1997, 1999, and 2000, he received a Teaching Excellence Recognition Award from the IU Board of Trustees. This award was later replaced with the IU Trustees Teaching Award, which he won in 2003, 2005, 2007, and 2010. In 2017, he received the inaugural at David and Cheryl Morley Career Distinguished Teaching Award, which recognizes a lifetime of contributions to the academic mission of the IU Chemistry Department. Peters also won a host of national awards, including the Chemical Manufacturers Association National Catalyst Award in 1988 and the ACS Analytical Chemistry Division Award for Excellence in Teaching in 1990. He was the 2001 recipient of the James Flack Norris Award presented by the Northeastern Section of the ACS for Outstanding Achievement in the Teaching of Chemistry and the 2002 winner of the Henry B. Linford Award presented by the Electrochemical Society for Distinguished Teaching. Most recently, he was presented the 2020 Roland F. Hirsch Award for Distinguished Service in the Advancement of Analytical Chemistry by ACS Division of Analytical Chemistry. Peters has had a profound effect on education at Indiana University and was universally liked and admired by students, faculty, and non-academic staff alike. He taught more than 15,000 students in a classroom setting since 1962. In the laboratory, 43 graduate students, 45 undergraduates, and 31 high school students have studied with him. Indeed, many of his publications list undergraduates as co-authors. Since 1982, Professor Peters has directed the chemistry component of the Advanced College Project, a program in which Indiana University cooperates with high schools throughout Indiana to offer university level courses in general chemistry. These courses are taught by superior high school teachers to qualified high school juniors and seniors who earn college credit. Thousands of high school chemistry students have benefited from this program. In addition, Professor Peters served for more than 26 years as a lecturer and research mentor in the IU NSF-supported Summer Science Institute for high school students. In 1986, Peters invited 26 high school chemistry teachers to Indiana University to discuss problems centering on the curricular content of high school chemistry courses, the operation of laboratory courses, the selection and procurement of textbooks and other materials, and laboratory safety. One year later, he organized a meeting in Indianapolis attended by more than 200 high school and college chemistry teachers from Indiana. On the basis of that meeting, Professor Peters, with assistance from three other educators, founded the Indiana Alliance of Chemistry Teachers, IACT. For many years, during the IU Chemistry Department a celebration of National Chemistry Week, Professor Peters conducted an extremely popular program of demonstrations called the Magic of Chemistry. 
it was attended by several hundred elementary, middle school, and high school students and their parents. On other occasions, he performed this program for groups such as the Boy Scouts and the Indiana Science Olympiad. Peters was the principal author and driving force behind the highly regarded text, Chemical Separations and Measurements, Theory and Practice of Analytical Chemistry, one of his five textbooks that in total have sold more than 120,000 copies. Research pursued by Peters and his 119 graduated research group members centered on organic electrochemistry, most recently involving metal assailant complexes. These studies resulted in more than 215 publications and were recognized by the Electrochemical Society in 2012 with the Manuel B. Bezier Award in Organic Electrochemistry. Seemingly mild-mannered and physically unimposing, Peters possessed a booming voice and a lecturing style that could not fail to win students over. He was also surprisingly competitive, especially on the racquetball court, where his aggressive style usually resulted in victory. He was generous with his time and knowledge and assisted many of his junior colleagues in the most effective style of writing lectures, journal articles, and research grant proposals. Each year, he voluntarily prepared and presented a multi-lecture short course on effective scientific writing, a series that was routinely attended by both faculty and students. Generous also with his personal resources, he was named for the 2019 Old Crescent Award from IU, intended to celebrate individuals whose exceptional philanthropy creates a lasting impact, empowering students and faculty of today and tomorrow in equal measure. He was truly loved and admired and will be missed by so many. Professor Peters is survived by his nephew, Ruben Portuguese, living in Germany, and by his niece, Ileana Portuguese, who lives in the UK. Both became scientists in no small measure due to the interesting stories and demonstrations from their uncle, his kindness and genuineness, his passion for research and teaching, and their summer visits to Bloomington and IU Chemistry. Dennis was a tremendously gifted teacher, author of no fewer than five textbooks in chemistry, who won every award at our university and in his field for his ability to bring chemistry alive for all levels of students from high school to graduate school. Hello, I'm Rick Van Kooten, Executive Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at IU Bloomington, the home of the Department of Chemistry who have lost a beloved faculty member, Professor Dennis Peters. Dennis fully embraced every aspect of the IU community, from his enthusiastic support of the basketball team to his hearty rendition of IU's alma mater, to his awe-inspiring and often flaming demonstrations performed at IU Science Days. Dennis has also been incredibly generous in supporting the academic mission in ways that went beyond excellence in the classroom. He established and funded an undergraduate research scholarship. He spent endless hours working with the Goldwater Scholarship Selection Committee, something that he took very seriously as a responsibility. Finally, he worked with high school teachers in setting up programs to improve science education for students throughout Indiana. His loss will be felt throughout the college where he was known and deeply admired for his dedication to holding undergraduate education to the highest standards. Dennis, you'll be missed. To his colleagues, Dennis was the stable and enduring core of the department. Not only did he set the standard for how we fulfilled our academic mission, he was the glue who kept us together as a faculty. He was selfless and dedicated, and we are incredibly fortunate to have had the honor of being his colleagues. Hi, my name is Jill Robinson, and I've been a lecturer in the chemistry department for almost 20 years. I've co-taught general chemistry with Dennis Peters many times, and I would like to share a few of my wonderful memories. In the lecture hall, Chem 122, I always love listening to Professor Peter's booming voice intermixed with random phrases in Espanol during class. He was terrific in bringing chemistry to life through his use of exciting demonstrations. He rewarded student participation by running up the steps in Chem 122 and handing the student who spoke or asked a question a colored slip of paper. The student would then write their name on the paper and turn it in after class for extra credit. 
I never appreciated how much energy he had until it was my turn to teach and I also had to run up steps handing out little slips of paper. He also had a rule that when a student contested their semester grade, they had to come in and meet with all three C-117 instructors at the start of the following semester. After checking carefully that we had not made any actual mistakes in calculating the grade, Dr. Peters, Dr. Stone, and myself would, in Dennis's words, torpedo them with numbers, showing there was no possible way they could have achieved the higher grade. Dr. Peters had an incredible amount of energy. When we were proctoring a general chemistry exam, he would travel around campus and personally visit all 10 exam rooms. He would make a map and a schedule and would travel the exam rooms in one direction, and I would have to travel the exam rooms in the other direction, no matter what the weather was. One night during exam proctoring, I had a terrible cold and told him that I was going to go home early so I would feel well enough to teach at 8 a.m. the next day. When I arrived at my office the next morning at 7.15, he was standing there ready to teach in case I did not feel well enough. That was just the kind of colleague he was. If you know Dr. Peters, you also know that he was carrying a giant binder of notes that had Avogadro's number of pages in it. Over the years, Dr. Peters has been a wonderful colleague. Even when I was a new instructor, he valued my opinion and treated me as an equal. I have learned very much about how to be a great teacher from him and will always cherish all the fun we had together. Uh, Dr. Peters was actually my first graduate school professor in 1996 when I came here. Uh, I recall his passion for electroanalytical chemistry. Uh, I remember his deep voice and methodical manner in which he explained things that many of us uh, weren't familiar with. Uh, I also recall him great, at least marking uh, grammar or spelling mistakes on our blue books, but thankfully not taking off any points for them. Uh, and he really set uh, an example of quiet passion uh, that one can have uh, without being um, overbearing. And Dennis is always generous to share credit, to share um, uh, responsibility uh, when it comes to successes uh, in, and uh, research progress of his laboratory. And that sets, again, a standard and example that all of us uh, should strive to emulate as we move forward in our own careers. He never used his success or his uh, longevity as a, a way to garner ex extra resources and he was always willing to serve. In fact, he actually, at nearly 80 years old, uh, served on the committee to help us find our current chair uh, and uh, really uh, set a model for how we should do that moving forward. Uh, the thing that Dennis, to me, was most passionate about was the teaching of undergraduates. And when undergraduates worked in his laboratory, they were not assistants or graduate students or people just do scut work. Uh, they actually owned their own work. They published their own work when it was appropriate. Uh, they helped advance long-term projects. So it might take two undergraduates to get a project done, but both of those students would then be uh, have ownership of the work they had done. And uh, that carries forward into their success and their recollections of IU. Dennis's legacy to chemistry, to Indiana University and to the world beyond lives on in his students. And I can recall the ones I had the privilege to learn with and work with this legacy of his students who take his passion, uh, his commitment to the science, to their institutions that they now are at or the companies that they now are at, uh, make them very valuable and colleagues that people depend on uh, despite being many years removed from Dennis's excellent example. And uh, I can't think of a better mentor to have in how to be a professional academic chemist than Dennis Peters. And. Uh, it is with great sadness that, uh, but pride in my ability to have worked with him. Anybody who walks the halls of chemistry knows who Dr. Peters is. Whether or not you had a class with him, it is impossible to not realize the impact he had on the department. Additionally, Dr. Peters admired and cared for and supported the undergraduates more than anything else in this department and really cherished undergraduate education. My name is Chris Dom, and I was a member of Dennis's group from 1990 to 1995. I then have gone on and am a professor at a small undergraduate uh, college outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. I was very fortunate to have attended Indiana University from 
1996 through 2001 to, to study with the laboratory of Dr. Dennis Peters to earn my PhD there. And, and I taught at IU for, for two years after that. So I was at IU from 1996 till about 2003, in total about seven years. I was very fortunate to do that and spend that time uh, with Dr. Peters. My biggest memories uh, from Dennis's group were we were his family. His group members were his family. He had us over to his house for Taco Manias. He had us over to his house to watch the NCAAs. I also remember that Dennis liked having undergraduates in the lab. He liked having them do research. He liked having them learn. And that's something that at a small undergraduate school, I value. Um, it's, it's neat to work with students and, and part of that was started because of Dr. Peters and all of the undergraduates that he had working. He will be missed. I think this might be one of the best pictures I ever took of Dr. Peters. It's it's taken in, in his backyard at my graduation celebration party that he hosted for my family. And here he is poised uh, about ready to cut his homemade cheesecake. He was very proud of that cheesecake and, and often said that it was very dense, that it had the density of elemental osmium. It was so heavy. Um, turned out to be one of the best pictures I took of, of Peter's. Everyone is smiling. It was a, it was a good moment. Uh, and there he was doing something that he did so often, and that was uh, treating people to a meal, having a good meal with somebody. Um, in this case, a very happy occasion at, at my graduation uh, party. So uh, thank you for that, Dr. Peters. I never did learn the recipe for that, for that cheesecake either. I have no pictures or stories from the past, but I was there. My name is Henry Longerick. I started graduate studies in chemistry at Indiana University in 1962. I transferred my PhD research to work with Dennis Peters later. I graduated with a PhD degree with Dennis Peters as my research advisor in 1967. I am sure I was not his first student, but I may have been his second student. I am now Professor Emeritus of Earth Sciences at Memorial University of Newfoundland in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. I certainly have good memories of my time in Indiana. I have known Professor Dennis Peters for more than 40 years. I have done my thesis for the PhD degree in chemistry under his supervision. As a student, I have enjoyed working with him. He always inspired and encouraged me to do more. After my graduation from Indiana University back in 1982, I have collaborated with Professor Peters in several research projects and co-authored 71 research articles during my several trips to Indiana University as a visiting professor and visiting scientist in the summers. Besides being a world-class scientist and an internationally recognized and well-respected scholar, Professor Peters is a superb teacher and educator. I admire the way he deals with his students, whether they are graduate or undergraduate. He always remembered their birthdays and celebrated them with his own creative and lovely way. I will always remember and never forget the taco manias he held in his house almost every year where he serves his students with one-of-a-kind tacos. I am saying this because I know not many professors do these things. Personally, I not only consider Professor Peters as a mentor, but as a close friend. I value and cherish this friendship. Dennis, rest in peace. You will be remembered by many of your students, colleagues, friends, and co-workers. You will be greatly missed, my friend. Mohammed Mubarak, PhD graduate, 1982. It was cloudy and windy, a typical winter day in November. I was about to graduate with master's degree and aggressively looking for a prestigious chemistry PhD program. Opportunities were real as spring semester admission was limited, but I finally got a chance to interview with several professors at IU. Dr. Peters was the last professor I would talk to that afternoon. When I walked to his office on the second floor in chemistry building, I was welcomed by him at the door with his amicable smiles. I was a nervous young guy back then, and Dr. Peters quickly relaxed me by showing his collections of books and discussing about my plans for graduate studies. He then sat down with me at the table to introduce several research projects which could potentially fit my interests. I was amazed that he explained some complicated topics in such an easy way and that it didn't take long for me to be completely hooked up by his research and probably more by his personality. I immediately decided to join his group and before my leaving, Dr. Peters also told me that he would support me with research assistantship for the incoming spring semester so that I could start the program smoothly. My first time at the Dr. Peters' office changed my life path dramatically and ever since. I spent the next five years some of my best time in life at the IU with Peters Group. 
We did tough research and enjoyed our leisure time together like a family. The pleasant moments spent at the lab, at the restaurants, and at Dr. Peter's home were unforgettable for all of us. I graduated in 2001 and started my own academic career. Over the years, I continuously received Dr. Peter's support and the guidance. I could never say enough on how greatly he impacted my life. My wife and I visited Dr. Peter's in Bloomington regularly and were expecting to make our next trip soon. We are both shocked and heartbroken after hearing the tragic news. Dear Dr. Peters, may you rest in peace and you will be missed immensely by all of your students who are members of the Peters family forever. About five to seven years ago, I had the opportunity to play some games of racquetball against Dennis, most as a three-way game of cutthroat with his then student, Eric Pasiak. I never once beat him at a match and think I only won one or two games ever. I remember once when playing with Dennis and Eric that I returned Eric's ball to make it Dennis's turn. And he, without any visible effort, put the ball back at the wall in a way that I had to continue the run I started with Eric and literally run in a circle twice around Dennis in order to even touch the ball. I will truly miss being beat so soundly by Dennis. James Clark. My heartfelt sympathy goes to the family of Dennis Peters. I retired from the chemistry department a few years ago, and during my tenure there, Dennis was always kind, thoughtful, had a great sense of humor, and was one of the best teachers I had ever witnessed. He had a gift of making chemistry exciting, even to the non-chemistry people. His love for his profession and his coworkers was second to none. I feel honored to have known Dennis because he made the department a better place to work. He always treated me with respect and I will never forget him. Dear Dr. Peters, thank you very much for being a great teacher and mentor to me. I will not forget all the valuable lessons I learned from you. You are and always will be my role model. I feel deeply honored and privileged that once I was your student at IU and I really appreciate you for your kindness and support throughout these years. Sawadi in Thai means either hello or goodbye. We have to say goodbye now, but someday we will meet again. Sawadi ka, Dr. Peters. Parachat Vanala Patana. Hi, Dr. Peters. Hi, Dr. Peters. Hi, Dr. Peters. Hey, Dr. Peters. Uh, I just wanted to say we miss you. When we all heard that you're in the hospital, we decided that we wanted to make a video to show you that we were thinking of you. We hope that you get well soon. I'm so glad I got to meet you and just be in your classroom and be taught by you. Thank you for a great year of chemistry. We all miss you and are thinking about you. You've been an awesome instructor and always make me laugh. Thank you for teaching me my first semester of college chemistry. Just wanted to let you know that we're thinking about you. I just wanted to wish you luck in your recovery and let you know that we all miss seeing you in lecture every week. Thank you for a great year of chemistry. And I just want to say thank you for a really great semester. Thank you for everything this year. You were a great chemistry teacher. I just wanted to let you know that you have a lot of people thinking about you. I've been thinking of you a lot and um, I've been praying for you. We all miss you so much. Thank you for an amazing semester. You were a great teacher to us. Your students really miss you and we hope that you feel better soon. Stand up, let's all sing together. Here we go.